okay uh, so on the other day we stopped uh, here in the uh, purchasing uh, configurations so the uh, issue what has happened on the other day is that uh, the system has mapped with uh, different uh, business group for the oe so i'll just uh, show you this one sorry sorry can you repeat again what is this one? yeah what has happened is that we did not create a separate responsibility so we created in the uh, generic responsibility in the yeah. ledger so what system has taken is that uh, the vision uh, uh, vision operations instead of our uh, operating unit uh, no. i'll show you probably yeah so here if you see so this one uh, hw underscore usa i created uh, after our uh, last session okay so on our session basically we created these two things that is hw ou and ou2 so we did not create a separate responsibility for uh, uh, human resource so we used a uh, human resource that was given by oracle the seeded responsibility so uh, in the uh, profile option or the uh, moic profile option so it has taken a vision corporation as a business group so we did not notice that so it has taken uh, by default a business group as vision corporation because we don't have any mapping in the system it is based on the profile option that is assigned to this particular uh, responsibility so usually we will create no. a responsibility and then assign profile option and then we will create the uh, Uh, respective organization but i created directly so that was the issue uh, so now i created a responsibility and uh, after assigning the profile option i created uh, one more operating unit that is hw usa mm. so this is assigned to our uh, business group mm. okay yeah uh, so now it is uh, reflecting correctly so with that uh, operating unit i created also the inventory organization so which we uh, created on the other day for hwou1 so similar configuration so i created for this one as well that is inventory parameters we gave uh, this one right account code combination so that i gave yeah so we will start with uh, few of configurations yeah so this is the one that we created so i'll give uh, options for this okay and save and so
Uh, Arun, tomorrow morning I won't be available. I mean, I'm traveling tomorrow morning. Yeah, we will uh, have it evening time, so we will make this on yeah, regular. Like, uh, oh, sure. Yeah, uh, like uh, eight to uh, this time, we will have this. Sure, sure. I think this is happening only for uh, purchasing options. Uh, give me a minute. <coughs>
Okay, uh, so let me start from here. Uh, that is from uh, financial options to receivable options. And then uh, probably we'll see uh, this one, uh, purchasing options. Okay, I think uh, the account is not defined.
ओके या सो बेसिकली फाइनेंशियल ऑप्शन इज एन क्रूशियल सेटअप वेयर एंड दिस विल बी आवर सोर्स ऑफ अकाउंट कोड कॉम्बिनेशन व्हेन वी बेसिकली जनरेट आवर इनवॉइसेस जनरेट आर वी क्रिएट एनी मैनुअल इनवॉइसेस सो देयर आर बेसिकली टू वेज ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एन इनवॉइस आई मीन वी कैन से इट इज थ्री वे so one is that manual way of creating manual invoice and the another one is that uh, getting the uh, po from po or received uh, from uh, a procurement application and we will match it with our uh, invoice or probably we will receive this invoice from the external application that is from the core application or the third party application so th- these are the three different ways of uh, getting the invoices so now let's say i am creating an uh, manual invoice so what i can do is that i can create a manual invoice and in distribution i can give the expense account but i will not be able to give the liability account so from where basically system will uh, pick the liability account is that for, as a first step system will check uh, in vendor site level so if this liability account or the prepayment account is not given in the <coughs> uh, vendor site so it will look for the financial options so that is why it becomes a mandatory setup here so if the uh, particular configuration is not given in the vendor side so that is when system will come and uh, pick from here so this is the source to create our uh, liability account generation okay so this is uh, based on the uh, operating unit so let's say i have 10 different vendors so for all 10 different vendors so this will be my uh, liability account so this will be my combination so similarly prepayment and uh, discount taken as well okay and uh, then uh, we have a uh, future period so future period is nothing but that uh, the uh, certain transactions that i can uh, enter but i'll not be able to do accounting or complete the accounting process that is i can keep it in the final stage but i'll not be able to post this to the general ledger so this we call as a future period okay so the reason why we will have this uh, option of having future period is that it's not that always we will have leisure time to uh, create the transaction now and there and complete it so there will be certain activities when we speak about uh, the year end processing so we have uh, adjustment entries and then we have uh, reconciliation uh, entries other things will come in so these entries might be small or this might uh, this entries might be big uh, based on the organization count or the volume of the transaction that they are making okay so let's say i wanted to make 100 or 200 transaction so, so which which is not at all possible if i uh, if i do it in one day so this will consume my one complete day so instead what i will do is that i'll give one feature period so this one feature period will uh, give me access wherein i can uh, create the transaction and i will save it and i will validate it and i will keep it ready for posting so next day when the period opens what i will do is that i'll just uh, run this particular uh, accounting program so this accounting program will run as a batch so this batch will push the entire transaction to our uh, gl module okay so for that purpose we have this future uh, period so this option is there in uh, gl as well so we similarly we have it in ap side also okay so basically uh, the financial option if you see this more of an uh, what do you call the accounts payable but this we will see it also in the purchasing uh, side of it okay so that's what and uh, then the, there are other few accounts as well like bills payable so bills payables are used uh, when we have letter of credit or kind of an instrument wherein uh, we will get a guarantee and we we will get paid but this is considered as an uh, short term uh, debt so for those cases we will use bills payable uh, functionality okay and uh, then other things are like the po uh, rate uh, variance gain or loss so these are things okay and uh, then uh, we have the expense clearing account so if i want to use the clearing account i can uh, utilize this but uh, but these are the three mandatory accounts that we might uh, need okay and then uh, miscellaneous so miscellaneous is nothing but uh, the line that we can add so we have right we have tax we have uh, normal lines 
So apart from that, we have uh, any requirement to capture the financial uh, charges or the bank charges. So those things can be captured using this particular uh, line item called miscellaneous. So if we want to set up any uh, specific account code combination, we can set it up here. Or probably we can use it uh, at uh, transaction. That, uh, that is when we are creating the invoice. Okay. So then we have the retainage uh, earnings account. So this is kind of an holding a particular amount and releasing at a later point. So uh, at high level, so these are the three accounts that is mandatory. So we have given it. And uh, then we have a supplier purchasing, okay. So here also we have only one column that is mandatory that is uh, inventory organization. So apart from that, uh, we also can capture ship to location and build to location for a particular uh, operating unit. So I'll select the uh, inventory organization. Okay. And uh, then we have uh, encumbrance. So encumbrance is nothing but a kind of a budget wherein it is an unplanned uh, budget we can see. So we will see this when we are uh, seeing budgets. Okay, and these are like compliance related uh, information. And uh, here we can see our business proof and these things. Okay, so that's about uh, the financial option. Uh, any doubt or we can move on? Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Okay, so the next thing is that uh, receiving options. Okay. So we created a separate inventory unit for this uh, newly created operating unit. So that is HW INV unit. So this is the new unit that we created. Okay, so basically we will give configuration for this particular uh, unit. Okay, so to start with, so we have uh, enforce. So this are kind of a control wherein uh, we can say whether system wants to give the warning or it wants to reject particular transaction. So that is the understanding. And uh, here you can see that enforce uh, ship to location. So whether if there is no ship to location, whether I want to reject it or I just want to give the warning and I will uh, get the data inside my system. Okay, so I can give this option. So this is not mandatory. So I'm just leaving this as none. And uh, then we have uh, ASN control action. So AS ASN is nothing but advanced uh, shipment notice. So where we will use this uh, process is that, uh, let's say we have a requirement. So wherein uh, we have different uh, countries that is being involved. So let's say uh, I'm a manufacturer uh, who manufactures car, let's say BMW or some other company. So I manufacture cars and I sell it to Australia. I sell it to probably uh, Asian uh, countries like uh, probably Japan or the other countries. Okay. So in this case, <clears throat> since uh, it it uh, it will have different uh, checkpoints. So it, it will not come directly from uh, let's say India to uh, Australia. So we have multiple checkpoints. Let's say it moves from uh, India to probably Chennai to uh, Mumbai and from Mumbai to let's say Singapore and from Singapore it will reach to Australia and from there again we will unpack and then we will uh, give a new, new build and all those things. Okay, so in this uh, entire process what will happen is that each checkpoints will be captured. So each uh, shipment should be captured. So uh, this functionality of ASN, the, uh, why we will use this particular functionality is that to capture the each checkpoints action items. So if I have reached uh, a specific point, so I will give a notification, advanced notification that so-and-so shipment is coming to this particular uh, inventory of the bearers. Because it is not that always I will have uh, the oracle space in my uh, inventory of the bearers. So, when I have the advance notice in, uh, let's say, 10 days before the delivery, 
so so i will plan accordingly but when it comes uh, on a particular day so i might not plan it so that is the reason we are having this advance shipment notice so that we can plan our inventory or warehouse items okay so that, that's about it so whether we wanted to use it or not so we can give whether we want to give warning or this things okay and uh, then we have a uh, reset uh, day early so early let's say uh, i'm giving just uh, this is kind of a control so just for uh, this thing i'm giving one day one day that is uh, one day can be early and one day can be late okay and uh, then if uh, the reset uh, days exceeds action so it includes this one day also so after this what system should do so whether system should reject or it should give a warning and it should accept it so for now i'll give a warning i'm not giving reject option okay and uh, then we have a uh, over reset uh, tolerance so over reset tolerance is something that let's say i ordered for uh, 10 quantity but uh, uh, now i am receiving 11 quantity or by mistake uh, i am receiving it so whether i can allow this one percentage or this could be above or below so whether i can allow this particular tolerance or not so that is what we are defining so if we don't want to have tolerance probably we can say 0% or let's say i want to have tolerance i can give probably 10% okay and uh, then over reset uh, action so whether we wanted to take any action that is to reject this particular reset or what do we want to do exactly so i'll say none here okay and uh, then we have uh, rma so that is uh, the uh, returns and uh, this thing so reset uh, routing so how do we want to handle this so we have a uh, different options so whether we wanted to have a uh, direct uh, delivery so direct delivery is nothing but i just receive into my inventory directly so there is no uh, delivery or this thing uh, involved directly i'll get into my uh, inventory as the uh, sub inventory the other option that we have is a uh, standard reset so standard reset will have the delivery challenge also so this is kind of a two way okay and uh, then we have uh, inspection request so inspection is something that uh, we will have the quality control and the other checks also so after the entire process is done so we will mark this as an delivered so that is when the actual delivery will happen so this is what we also call it as an two way three way or a four way so not exactly same but we can match it with this okay so whether we want to match with a uh, pivo reset or uh, the inspection so that is what we call as an uh, two way three way and four way matching so similarly here if you see we have inspection and then uh, we have direct delivery and we have the standard uh, reset okay so for now i'll just say uh, standard reset okay and also for the uh, reset routing i'll give standard reset so whether i want to give uh, allow i mean whether i want to allow substitute or reset i can enable this for now i'm just giving leave it uh, leaving it okay and then i have allow unordered uh, reset so allow unordered reset is nothing but let's say i i, I added I, without uh, what we call the uh, uh, let's say there is an uh, requirement wherein i want to uh, book this reset Uh, above the quantity ordered so which means uh, i ordered for 5 and i'm receiving it uh, uh, so it's probably the over uh, quantity of it so whether i wanted to allow unordered uh, reset so so usually it is not uh, suggestible so i'm just leaving this as an open and uh, then we have uh, allow express uh, transaction so this is uh, so these are like optional uh, configurations so i'm just leaving this also uh, not enabling and uh, then we have a cascade uh, transaction and then uh, bind receiving so these are like exceptional cases wherein uh, we will we will uh, try to enter the receipt and uh, get the item on the exceptional cases okay and uh, then we have validate serial number on rma receipts so if it is written so how, whether we wanted to 
validate this particular thing with our uh, serial numbers so that we can enable it here okay and uh, then we have reset number generation whether we wanted to have it as a uh, manual or we wanted to have this as an automatic okay and uh, then we have a uh, reset number type so whether we want to have only the numeric or the alpha numeric so we can say uh, the reset number so i say a uh, one as an uh, first number okay so uh, then we have a uh, lots on uh, rma resets so whether we wanted to give any uh, sort of uh, restrictions on the uh, lots so lots and locators are uh, different so lot is nothing but a set of an batch or the set of batch of an item so when we speak about the manufacturing so it's not about uh, what do you call the quantity of an item it is about the batch so batch production will be different and after packaging it becomes a combo of an item or however the business runs okay so this lot and the locator uh, will come in, okay we will talk about it when we see the uh, Uh, inventory part so that is item creation and these things we will talk about it so for now i'll just say this is an unrestricted okay so then we have the uh, receiving uh, inventory account so when we uh, book and delivery so there will be an accounting impact so this is where basically it will pick from so i'll just uh, give the account <clears throat> 